Hello everybody, to those of you who know me, you know my name, um, and to those who don't, I am Patricia, I am a Masters in Social Work student, um, and I'm out here in Sierra Leone completing my placement, or to those who know it as internship, um, for a few months. So I requested this opportunity because I am a Sierra Leonean born, um, and now a Canadian as well, so I go by the term... Sierra Nadian, Sierra Leone, Canada. Um, but yeah, I requested to do this placement in Sierra Leone because I felt the need to redefine my Afro Western identity, to learn a fact about the strengths of Sierra Leone weekly and speak on that so I can um, educate people as well to explore the beauty and strengths of the country by taking photographs, videos, and just sharing with people that may be interested or don't know much about the country, um, but would find interest along the way. And finally, to interview a few people um, about their own perspective about the strengths of the country. Now, if you heard me right, I did not mention anything about weaknesses um, I feel like there's a lot there's so much about the negative aspects of the country on the internet social media people who barely know or have even stepped foot in the country have so much to say about everything that is not going right so if you're looking for that kind of information you are in the wrong place Turn it off now because you wouldn't be hearing that here. However, if you're looking for something entirely strength-based, you are in the right place. That means that I will be a little biased for sure, but that would be an intentional, um, an intentional step that I would take just to show a different side of the narrative a little bit. Um, so while one of my motivating factors is that before I left Sierra Leone, I was one of those people who accepted the narrative of the unfortunate African child who has to go overseas to seek greener pastures. And I, I lived a, a life of longing, just longing to be out of Sierra Leone so I can live a better lifestyle, so I can seek better um, opportunities and don't get me wrong there is a lot of greener pastures and um, you get to you get to experience a lot of those um, expectations out in the western world however I think in the process of longing for that we lose sight of the beauty and the strengths of the countries where we belong so for me I felt there was a need for me to revisit that identity and try and redefine that identity from a strength-based perspective. Um, this will not take away from the fact that I am a Canadian and enjoy being a Canadian, that being a Canadian um, offers a lot of strengths, but it will highlight the fact that I am a Sierra Leonean as well, as well and I want to enjoy being a Sierra Leonean and also highlight the strength of um, Sierra Leone. So bear with me as I take you along this journey. There's a lot for me to learn myself. And I'm hoping that people who listen to this word or go through this journey with me will really come to see Sierra Leone through my eyes and come to appreciate all of the richness that I know I would come to appreciate about my country of birth. And children who were born in the diaspora, I'm hoping this will be a source of education for you all as well. And to students who may want to take a similar step as I have um, to come do their placement in Sierra Leone, I'm hoping this would also be an opportunity um, to educate you and give you information for you to make an informed choice and hopefully one that um, inspires you to want to come so without um, further ado I will be posting um, 
a reflection and a collection of all my um, um, explorations, mm -hmm. weekly or bi-weekly. Um, and I encourage you all to not just watch when I share, but also tap the subscribe um, button. Um, if you're watching for the first time or click on it, um, like, share, let's reach out to as many people as we can so that we can start to change the narrative by um, educating, spreading um, awareness and looking at things from a strength-based perspective. Until I see you next, this is Patricia and this is my journey of redefining my Afro-Western identity.